Hello, I'm excited about tonight. I pray that you're doing well. This is our second Thursday night in the new year, and I am going back to talking about loving God. You know, in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 4, the Bible said, says, among other things, men would be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. I read an inter interesting comment on this particular passage. It says that men would want to have Christ and their sins also. And when you think about it, Christianity today is presented to people in a manner where people actually believe that you can have both. You can send up a storm and live this any way you want and still have the Lord because after all we're saved by grace and grace is a license to, to do what you want. But the truth is, my friends, the Lord is looking for people who will worship him in spirit and in truth. He's looking for believers who will give up whatever or whoever is necessary for them to have Jesus Christ and to have the flow, the fellowship, and the power of God operating in their lives. The Lord Jesus has something special for you. He wants to give himself to you in ways like he, like he never has before, but he wants you to come after him in ways like you never have before. So meet me tonight. Uh, you know, during this time of the year, people come up with new uh, resolutions and things. I don't necessarily want a resolution, but I want a commitment especially from the members of the church. We are going to attend Bible study. How about this? We're going to attend Bible study like we attend Sunday morning worship service. I look forward to seeing you tonight. We're going to study the word of the Lord together. I want all of the Lord, all that God will give me of himself in 2016. Think about this. Wouldn't it be uh, something if we were as excited about learning the golden nuggets from the God of the Bible as the world is excited and some church people about winning the lottery. I'll see you tonight. God bless you.